Imagine a giant, perfectly circular scar etched into the Earth's surface. This colossal wound isn't the aftermath of a meteor strike or some celestial calamity. It's a volcanic crater in Madagascar, a land teeming with unique biodiversity, where over 90% of its plant and animal life exists nowhere else on the planet. But this crater holds a secret even more captivating. A hidden village nestled within its depths, seemingly untouched by the modern world. Gazing down from space, this village appears as a smattering of dots against a verdant tapestry. Intrigued by this anomaly, a team of researchers embarked on a virtual expedition, determined to unravel the mysteries it held. Could this be a lost civilization untouched by time? A haven for elusive cryptids? Or perhaps a community simply seeking refuge in the most unexpected of places? All initial investigations, however, yielded nothing but dead ends. Social media searches, usually a treasure trove of information, produced nothing but a peculiar anomaly. Random references to the Japanese anime series Attack on Titan, written in Russian. Frustrated but undeterred, the team delved deeper, consulting experts in agriculture, biogeography, and even geology. Initially, the crater discovered was no ordinary geological formation. It was the collapsed remains of a volcano, an ancient giant that had breathed fire millions of years ago. The volcanic activity, however, had left behind a surprising legacy. An extraordinarily fertile soil due to its unique alkaline ring complex composition. Suddenly, the mystery surrounding the village deepened. Why would anyone choose to live in such a remote location, seemingly cut off from the world? Was it the fertile soil ideal for cultivating crops? Or perhaps a hidden water source sustained this secluded community? Finally, a breakthrough. Through tireless research and a stroke of luck, the team contacted a Malagasy production company willing to brave the treacherous journey to the crater. Imagine scaling a mountain roughly the size of three Empire State buildings stacked on top of each other, all while battling the elements and the uncertainties of the unknown. However, just as they neared the village, a torrential downpour forced them to retreat, leaving them hanging with bated breath. Months later, with the rainy season abated, the team embarked on a second attempt. This time, success beckoned. As they approached the crater's rim, a breathtaking sight unfolded. A village nestled amidst the lush greenery, a testament to human resilience and resourcefulness. But a tense atmosphere hung in the air. The villagers, understandably wary of outsiders, initially viewed the team with suspicion. However, through patient communication and respect, trust was gradually established. The story they unveiled was as captivating as the village itself. The community named Anasibi Ambohibi, meaning Big Island Ambohibi belonged to the Betsileo people. They had migrated from a densely populated region, seeking a better life. The crater offered not just fertile land, but also something even more precious. Space. In Madagascar, where road networks are scarce, living in a remote location often translates to limited access to markets and essential services. Anasibi and Bohibi, however, had carved out a life for itself, cultivating citrus fruits as a cash crop and utilizing the natural resources at their disposal. But the history of the crater stretches back, far beyond the arrival of the Betsileo people. Evidence suggests that the area might have been inhabited as early as the 19th century, as evidenced by mentions of a lush forest in historical records. The fertile soil likely attracted these early settlers, much like it did the Betsileo centuries later. The tale of Anasibi and Bohibi transcends the mere discovery of a hidden village. It's a story about human ingenuity, the enduring desire for a better life, and the power of community. It's a poignant reminder that not everything is documented online, and the most captivating stories often lie beyond the reach of Google Maps. It's a testament to the enduring human spirit, capable of thriving in the most unexpected corners of the world. While Anasibi and Bohibi thrives in its isolation, its remoteness also presents challenges. Limited access to markets restricts their ability to sell their crops and hinders access to healthcare and education. Their story highlights the broader issue of infrastructure development in rural Madagascar. Improved road networks could unlock a brighter future for Anasibi and Bohibi and countless other communities struggling with similar challenges. The allure of Anasibi and Bohibi extends beyond its present inhabitants. The crater itself whispers tales of a bygone era, hinting at a potentially rich history. While definitive evidence remains elusive, there's a lot that can be gleaned from the fragments available. Historical records from the 19th century depict the Ambohibi Massif, the mountain range housing the crater, as a haven of lush forests, a stark contrast to the current landscape dominated by cultivated fields. 
This suggests the presence of human activity even before the arrival of the Betzaleo people. Were these early inhabitants drawn by the fertile soil, similar to the later settlers? Did they establish a permanent settlement within the crater, or did they utilize the area for resource gathering? The crater itself holds the key to unlocking its past. Archaeological surveys could potentially uncover remnants of past settlements, tools, or even pottery shards. These artifacts could shed light on the lifestyles and cultural practices of the early inhabitants. Did they possess unique agricultural techniques that allowed them to thrive in this remote location? Were they nomadic or did they establish a permanent settlement within the crater walls? One of the driving forces behind the migration of the Betzileo people to Anasibi and Bohibi is the presence of water. Historical reports mention an open valley at the massive's peak, called Andranamangatsiaka, meaning where we find fresh water. This suggests the existence of a natural water source within the crater, a vital resource that likely played a crucial role in attracting inhabitants throughout history. Further exploration could reveal the extent and nature of this water source, providing valuable insights into how past communities managed their water needs. Beyond archaeological exploration, delving into the oral histories and legends passed down through generations among the Betzileo people could offer valuable clues. Do they possess any stories or traditions related to the crater's past inhabitants? In some cultures, stories passed down through generations hold kernels of historical truth, even if embellished with fantastical elements. Collecting and analyzing these oral histories could provide leads for further investigation. Unearthing the history of Anasibi and Bohibi necessitates a collaborative effort. International cooperation between Malagasy archaeologists, historians, and the local community is crucial. The Betzileo people, as the current stewards of the crater, hold invaluable knowledge about the land and its history. Their participation and guidance are essential for a respectful and successful exploration of the past. As Anasibi and Bohibi steps into the spotlight, a crucial question arises. How can development be balanced with the preservation of its unique character? Improved infrastructure, such as roads, could connect the village to markets and essential services, enhancing their livelihood. However, unchecked development could disrupt the existing ecological balance and threaten the village's tranquil way of life. Sustainable development strategies are vital to ensure that Anasibi and Bohibi not only thrives but also preserves its cultural heritage and natural beauty for future generations. The story of Anasibi and Bohibi transcends the mere discovery of a hidden village. It's a testament to human resilience, the enduring desire for a better life, and the power of community. It's a call to explore the unseen corners of our world, not just through satellite imagery, but with respect and a willingness to learn from those who call these remote places home. Anasibi and Bohibi stands as a beacon of hope, a reminder that even in the most isolated corners of the world, human ingenuity and a deep connection to the land can foster thriving communities. The crater that once held a fiery giant now shelters a resilient community, a testament to the enduring human spirit and the power of exploration to bridge the gap between the known and the unknown. Thank you for joining us on Africa Info Hub. Kindly stay informed, share your thoughts, and don't forget to subscribe for more nuanced perspectives on Africa's geopolitical landscape.